And here we are. It is 5, 10 in the morning on Thursday. And like I said, I am super tired. But I'll be catching up with you on the road and throughout the day. So see you later. What's up, guys? How you doing today? I'm um, starting the vlog here once again. Uh, I skipped nine hours of driving, and now I'm in Sonora, Georgia, where they shoot The Walking Dead. And behind me is Alexandria, where they have been the past two seasons, season and a half. Ladies. Guys, right there is where the church fell onto that wall behind those cars, and all the zombies started leaking in. This over here is the side where Glenn and Enid saw all the zombies and they were coming in to uh, rescue and help out everyone else. Uh, that church right there is the church where Father Gabriel preaches. That right there, that's I'm um, pretty sure where Deanna stays, that big tall building there. And then their house should be right over there in the middle somewhere. But, sadly, that's the security guard right there, and we can't get over there unless we sneak in. That's the entrance to Alexandria, right through that open gate right there. And this is everything surrounding it. So it really doesn't lead off into nothing. This is Woodbury. Let me zoom out. The governor's place is right up there in the center. Right here is where they had that huge wall fortification thing with the semi. I had to take that last shot really fast because that was a bad zone and we were about to get kicked out. The lady who went uh, behind us, she got kicked out. It was bad. This is the governor's secret walkway. His creepy lab's over there. And then the rest of Woodbury. Classified as just a typical horror genre, and people are like, oh, yeah, that stuff's stupid, or I'm not into it, or I'm scared of it. But the cool thing about the world of The Walking Dead, the universe of The Walking Dead, is it's very story driven. The writing uh, in the comics, on the show, in the game, 
is insanely good, very, very talented people, so it's story-driven. And uh, with this particular game, it's a kind of choose-your-own-adventure, so uh, it's it's cool because people who aren't even gamers get into it because they can watch their friends play and help make decisions. Uh, it's like an animated series. But The Walking Dead is, um, like again, it's just been one of the most amazing experiences for me because it's highly emotional. And after a while, the zombies and the walkers are still scary and they're still very effective, but it's all about the characters and it's all about the story. And I personally think it's one of the best things around. So if you're not watching The Walking Dead, I would highly recommend you do. I think you're gonna like it and you should play the game or watch someone play it. Okay. Bye. That was Melissa Hutchison. Uh, I'll put a link to their, all her social medias in the description. Check out the Walking Dead's Telltale Game series. I'll put that in the description too because I like to play it. I'm here with my mom, guys. This thing's over in like 10 minutes. Well, at least day one. Tomorrow is the busiest day of three days of Walker Soccer Con. So, let's get ready. Where? There's apparently a guy who looks like Daryl. Oh, dang, he does. Oh, it's the guy who looks like Rick, too. Uh -huh. I met him last year. They look pretty bomb, though. He walks around the convention sometimes, so maybe we'll see. Ooh, Skybound. They have so many good things there. Like, it's lit. It's Robert Kirkman's store. That was probably really close to my face. <laughs> Robert Kirkman's store. Look at all them action videos. I want all of them. They're too expensive. I'm a broke child. T shirts, dough. Jewelry, dough. Posters, dough. Anything and everything you want is a Walker Soccer Con. Come to Walker Soccer Con, you can meet me for five dollars. What? I want a psychic greeting. Where? Back there. Tell me how broke I'm gonna be in my future. Because I only have ten subscribers. It's day one and I was broke. I can't get money on my bank account here, can I? Sadness. Why? Dang it. I have that fake looking thing. It sets my number on it. Ooh, pop figures. Oh. Oh. I, have, I have that one. That one. That one. That one. Oh my god, they have Jesus. Abraham. And Jesus. I want one. That's in the day one of Walker Soccer Con. See you tomorrow.